Louisville will be on the world stage as it hosts the 2018 Breeders' Cup races on November 2nd and 3rd. Held each year in November, it's hosted by different racetracks. This year, it's back at legendary Churchill Downs. Over the years, Breeders' Cup has put out memorable performances in racing history, and this year won't disappoint. Breeders' Cup 2018 is two days of exciting races that feature many international influences. The highest purse race is the Classic, that has great contenders competing for the win circle. The horses and owners who hold records for the Breeders' Cup and how women have influenced the Breeders' Cup. I will talk about the contenders for this year's Classic, about past Breeders' Cup records, and to the women who have been influenced racing. Will it be Accelerate, Diversify, or maybe Mandelson, or will the Classic go to another? The world's best horses come to compete, such as the favorite for the Classic, Thunder Snow, and Mind Your Biscuits. Winner of the Classic usually goes on to win the coveted Horse of the Year title. Thunder Snow is an Irish bred thoroughbred racehorse. He was bred by Darley Stud in Ireland. Thunder Snow is trained by Sahid bin Sahro. His business win was the 10 million to buy World Cup in 2018. Thunder Snow is the bad boy of racing in 2017. He has done most of his racing overseas. He is best known to American racing fans as the horse who refused to run in the 2017 Kentucky Derby. He came out of the gates that day bucking and was quickly pulled up looking more that day like a rodeo horse, not a horse meant for racing. Since his misfortune in the Derby, Thunder Snow has continued to prove he belongs in this caliber race with the Dubai Cup win. Hopefully this time at Churchill Downs, he will leave his bad antics behind. One of Thunder Snow's biggest contenders in the classic will be Mind Your Biscuits. Mind Your Biscuits is a New York bred horse that has earnings of over 4.1 million. He is the richest New York bred in history, trained by Chad Summers who thinks that they're going to love Churchill Downs. Mind Your Business is a late closing speed demon with an unusual name. He has run two past Breeders' Cup races and finished both third. <clears throat> He has also been very consistent with seven wins, 10 seconds, and three thirds with 23 lifetime starts. Now let me tell you about the winners and records set by past Breeders' Cup <clears throat> holders. Every race and run on Breeders' Cup Day is worth at least a million and goes up from there with the classic having a purse of six million. With these types of earnings, it's not surprising the record held by winners of the Breeders' Cup races. The top jockey with the most Breeders' Cup wins is Mike Smith with 25, while the trainer with the most wins is G. Wayne Lucas with 20. The oldest horse to win a Breeders' Cup race is Kaleidoscope at age 9, who won the marathon in 2012. Golakova has won more Breeders' Cup races than any other horse, with three wins in the turf mile. America and Pharaoh is the only Triple Crown winner to complete the Breeders' Cup races. Highest British Cup earnings by owners go to Godolphin Racing with over a $17 million in wins. They hope to increase this with Thunder Snow in the Classic this year. The top earnings for horses in the British Cup goes to Zenyatta with over $4 million. Zenyatta has won the Distaff in 2008 as well as the Classic in 2009. But the only time Zenyatta was defeated was by Blaine in the 2001 Classic at Churchill Downs. Tisnow is the second spot earnings holder. Tisnow won the Classic twice, which is also a Breeders' Cup record. Tisnow stands for stud at Windstar Farm in Lexington, Kentucky. I would also like to take a time to talk about the women who have influenced the Breeders' Cup. Women have made their mark on Breeders' Cup <clears throat> as jockeys, trainers, and commentaries on race day. Races won by women horse trainers start with Janine Shadid, who won the Breeders' Cup Sprint with Little Digestice. Kathy Ribcho was the first woman to train a classic winner with Mucho Macho Man in 2013. The first time a woman rode in the Breeders' Cup was in 1988. Julie Crone is the three races which included the Juvenile Phillies. The last Rita Cup race win she had was in 2014 on Unstoppable. I hope I have put a spotlight on some of the race stars on Breeders' Cup Day. I hope you have learned a little about Breeders' Cup contenders, facts about the thoroughbreds, and the women who have influenced and attracted the world's best to this international platform. 
This Beauty's Cup will be on November 2nd and 3rd and will host horses from around the world, but only the top contenders will qualify to compete. This showcase of thoroughbred racing has produced some very impressive top earnings by horses and owners. Women are still putting their mark on horse racing today. It's been eight years since Churchill Downs has hosted this year, years making a record time ninth time at this historic track. I hope this year's two days of exciting international racing will have many nail-biting finishes and records to be made.